we have another welder from Best Art, and this is the MIG 145 Nice Generation. It's our most updated version, and it has new technology built in. Now, this machine is a multi process or three in one welder, which means you can do flux core welding, MIG welding, stick welding, and lift TIG. And it's also multi voltage, runs on 110, 220 volts. Now, my preference in voltage is always 220. But sometimes I might take this welder somewhere where there's only 110 volts and that's a big plus to be able to have that option. You can see all the accessories that are included. The description, the duty cycle, their contact information. It is all provided on the outside of the package. Now we're gonna move the welder to the side here and check out all the accessories that are in this box. The MK14, I believe this is rated for about 180 amps. Electrode holder, earth ground, 110 to 220 volt adapter. We got some rollers, the tool, Teflon contact tips, the manual, shoulder strap, our gas hose about two meters long. We got flux core wire and solid wire. All right, so we're gonna plug this into 220 volts. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna try and navigate through the menu on the MIG 145 real quick and see what options are available. So right now we got it set for MIG and gas. We can switch between gas and gasless here. On gasless, you have more options on your wire size, 0 0.03, 0 0.035, and 0 0.04. Here's your knob to control your amperage. And your 2T and 4T. We're gonna run it on 2T. Now we got TIG. And TIG appears to only work here with the knob, no other stuff to move. 145 amps is your max. Stick welding or MMA, 125 amps is the max, down to 20 amps. Now this machine does have Synergy controls as well. I'm gonna feed this through here. And I think that should be enough. We're gonna click that back in place, make sure we have enough tension on the spool there. One point oh, that's a correct tip size. All right, so we're gonna be welding some 316 inch plate, which is about 4.7 millimeters. And 4.7 is somewhere above 19.5 volts and below 21. So we're gonna do about 20 volts. Now this is flux core. And I think the walls look pretty decent. And you can see there's some penetration there on the back side. This is 316 inch plate. We got our gas hose hooked up. We have the machine at 130 amps on gas, 20.5 volts 
and 0 0.03 wire. I did have a little porosity there, but it's not bad. I like it. All right, so we're gonna remove this here, this pigtail. We're gonna plug in our electrode holder. It's gonna be electrode positive. We got some 7018 332. get that out of the way all right so not many machines that have igbt's can run 6010 this is a 1 8 electrode we're going to crank this up to about 120 amps Sixty thirteen. 330 seconds crank this down to about about 80 and we'll try to run it right next to the 7018 there all right we're gonna let this machine cool down it does have a smart fan in there because all right, so I got some Hobart 7018 1/8 electrode. Got the machine set at 125 amps, which is the max on MMA mode. All right, so here are the welds I did with the electrode, 7018, 1 8, 7018, 3 30 seconds, 60, 13, 3 30 seconds, 60, 10, and 1 8. Not sure what happened there, but IGBT machines and 60, 10 don't run well with me. Here are the welds I did using gas. There's uh, some dragging and some whipping all mixed in there flux core this was the first weld not as great i was trying to get used to the sound haven't done flux core welding in a long time and then as you can see the welds got a lot better a lot nicer And once again, it was different motion, whipping and little ease and whatnot, as you can see. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done with the best Arc MiG 145 for today. The testing went perfectly, no hiccups at all. And I always enjoy testing out new machines. This one has a very nice display, synergic mode, dual voltage, lightweight, multi-purpose machine, like I said, we did MMA and uh, wire welding. The lift TIG is available if you have a torch. Other than that, it worked excellent. Thank you, Best Arc, for sending this in. And we'll be doing some more testing in the future. So stick around, leave a like, leave a comment, and see you in the next video. Bye bye. All right, so we're going to measure the leads on here. As you can see, it's pretty straight here. We got six feet to about right here about four and a half feet to the power plug and about six and a half feet on the gas hose